For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Raising the $15 minimum wage would make so much difference to uh, low wage workers, mainly uh, people of color, uh, women, um, uh, the poor and disenfranchised. It gives um, it gives people a chance to make uh, to make a way to where they can start paying their bills. Um, support the children. Um, it it uh, uh, eliminate, uh, you know, having to depend on the government so much for necessities in life. To where if we paid uh, uh, a better wage, you could uh, handle handle more um, things like that yourself. As and um, and it's just a better quality of life what we're fighting for and we're fighting for union rights as well. Um, and the $15 um, is, it's a start. It's not the, the finish, it's, it's a start. And um, it's the right thing to do. And uh, I'm glad that this new administration has seen the uh, urgency, uh, is acting with urgency as part of the COVID relief package. risking our lives every day, A, by working in the public. And um, these billion dollar companies um, haven't um, taken this COVID-19 seriously because they're still valuing profits over people. And by meaning that a lot of uh, workers have underlying issues, health issues already. Um, they're not giving uh, benefits, uh, health benefits. Uh, even during the pandemic, they the companies haven't stepped up and put uh, health benefits packages in people for these employees that still running their businesses while their their CEOs are at home, uh, not uh, uh, not risking their lives. And um, the the essential workers have. A been helping kept this country running. B, so they had, they don't have. They need to be properly compensated. They need to deserve hazard pay, sick days, uh, and and I think companies are just doing the bare minimum. You know, uh, mask and six foot distances, okay. Um, but without Doctor Fauci, these companies wouldn't even be doing that. So I just think that. Uh, uh, the, these workers are not these workers us workers are putting our, our lives at danger every day and um, we need to be compensated not on the back end or through a relief package but like really now and through the rest of through the long term you know because these short term fixes to a long term problem isn't going to fix anything. Our next uh, fight is the PRO Act, which is protecting the right to organize uh, because a lot of these Southern states, which we are uh, organizing in, um, has called uh, will to work states. To where they get basically hire and fire you at any time. There's no negotiation with management, with the employees. So um, if we can get that act uh, passed, that's a really big step for unions in the South because that gives us the right 
to organize on the job and companies uh, can't uh, retaliate against employees, can't undermine against employees. So that's what we, me, I'm most passionate about is the union rights to, to fight. The raising minimum wage is awesome too, but I'm more passionate about the union rights. So my children and my grandchildren can uh, have the right to negotiate their work for these companies. You know, uh, I'm kind of skeptical, you know, just, you know, dealing with history and, and how these things go, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical, but uh, which either which either way it goes, uh, my fight doesn't stop. It keeps going. And, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm praying for the package, of course, but I have to keep a, a mindset with this is just a, a small, a small win in the war that, that we're fighting for equality, uh, 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 you know, equality across the board uh, for uh, black and brown people, equality for women, uh, gay, transgender, just equality across the board. So um, it's a, it, it'll be a good small uh, victory, but the fight uh, is just beginning.